I'm Mitsuki Sukimori. Nice to meet you. Today we have a new transfer student! Huh? I feel like I've seen that girl somewhere before. Immediately after I entered my junior year, a new student transferred into my class, but her face looked so familiar. But I didn't remember hearing a name like that before, so I just dismissed it as my imagination. She ended up sitting in the seat next to me, so... Nice to meet you. I'm... Don't talk to me. It should come as no surprise that in that moment the air immediately seemed colder. After that, Mutsuki would quickly gain a reputation as the class's ice queen for her frosty attitude. About a month after she transferred in... Mitsuki still doesn't look like she's made any friends, huh? Well, it's no surprise given the way she treats everyone. But you exchange greetings every day, don't you? Sure, but it's not like we had any conversation after that. Well, at least I'll always love how kind-hearted you are, Haiji. Dude, get off me, Mirai! For the record, yes, Mirai Tokiwa is a guy, and he's a good friend of mine. Although he is pretty clingy, and he always wears sweet-smelling perfume. No matter how cute he acts, I still wish that I could have a beautiful girl cling into my arm the way he does. Hey, Haiji, is it just me, or is Mitsuki glaring at you? Oh crap, we must have been too loud! Yeah, maybe we should go out into the hall. Yeah, good idea. She doesn't have to stare at me like that, though. Hi, G! Hey, dude, don't grab my arm and stop nuzzling me! Why not? You're my best friend in the whole wide world. This is not best friend behavior! Aww. I really don't get why Mutsuki hates me so much, though. I've been trying to greet her every day since she moved here. When I wish her a good morning, she responds, and when I say goodbye at night, she responds. But when Mirai and I are horsing around, I can see her glaring at me. It's like she's still refusing to actually speak to me. I guess that I'm just a loser. Haiji, are you thinking about Mitsuki again? How'd you know? Oh wait, why are you so angry about that? Because I'm jealous. Why would you be thinking about another girl when you have me? Sorry, but you don't actually like being called a girl, do you? Hmm. Just kidding, I'm not actually that angry. What's with you? I don't know. Why are you so interested in her in the first place? I don't know, I feel like I've seen her somewhere a long time ago. And I'm curious why she hates me so much. You think she hates you? Because to me, it seems like she's interested in you too. Why? No clue. But she just gives off vibes like she wants to know more about you. Then why won't she just talk to me? Maybe she's just too embarrassed to speak to you. Um, yeah, I don't think that's it. She's probably just got her guard up because a loser like me tries to say hi to her every day. Mirai and I were just casually talking. But the next day, after the third period was over, things took an unexpected turn. Oh, next is Jim. Wait! Uh, Haiji, why are you stripping already? Um, for Jim, duh. I'm in charge of getting the equipment. You're way too into sports for your own good. Hey, you think so? Oh, yeah, I forgot you had that nasty scar on your back. What kind of nasty fight did you get into in the past, huh? Hmm? Oh, this? It's kind of a long story. Before gym, sometimes people noticed it. I was such a plain, unassuming kid, but I had this massive scar across my back. Sometimes people would tease me about it. That's pretty gnarly, man. <laughs> Don't you feel ashamed about something like that as a man? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, wasn't that a thing in that pirate anime? Uh, Swordsman's Shame or something like that? Yeah, I think that's a line Zoro would say. Or wait, was it a warrior's shame? Well, either way, this scar? That scar was caused by his girlfriend. Seriously? A loser like him? Yep, she's pretty hardcore, huh? Whoa! 
Mirai, what the heck, man? Anyway, I'm gonna go change in the bathroom. Uh, uh, sure, see you later. I didn't know why Mirai was telling lies like that for my sake, but I'm sure there were better ways to phrase it than that. Uh, sorry, Haiji. I wish you and your hardcore girlfriend all the best, okay? Huh? Hey, I think you guys are getting the wrong idea here. No, man, it's fine, okay? You do you. Yeah, exactly. I don't claim to know about any of that kinky stuff. Uh, Mirai! After you said that, all the other guys thought that I was some kind of a closet masochist or something. <laughs> Sorry. But at least they stopped making fun of you, right? Yeah, but now they all think that I'm some kind of a perverted weirdo with a pain fetish instead. Next student, please. Next is... Mitsuki? Mitsuki, you're up next. The rest of the gym class went on without anything exciting happening. I continued to be oblivious toward Mitsuki's constant staring in my direction. Phew, having to clean up every single thing at the ends is the worst part about being in charge of equipment duty. But this was just a part of my job, and it didn't help that the other person who was supposed to help would constantly skip out and leave me alone to clean up by myself. That day, I was alone as usual, trying to pick up everything from the field in the sweltering sun, when... Huh? Mutsuki, what are you doing here? I was waiting for you. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Really? What is it? For some reason, Mutsuki was waiting to talk to me by the storage shed, but she didn't even want me to talk to her, right? You don't remember me, do you? Huh? Of course I do. You're Mutsuki Tsukimori, right? That's not what I mean. Like, the first day I transferred, you said, nice to meet you, right? What? Uh, well, yeah, that was the first time we met, uh, wasn't it? Or did you know me beforehand? Did we actually meet earlier? I knew it. If that didn't jog your memory, then forget it. Oh, hey, Mutsuki! I didn't understand it, but she looked really disappointed. But I really didn't remember her from anywhere. Maybe she could have been confusing me for someone else? I was about to chase after her in a panic when she suddenly collapsed. Mutsuki, are you okay? It's nothing. I just got a bit lightheaded, is all. Now that you mention it, your face is really red. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I can't just leave you alone. It might be heat stroke. I'm taking you to the nurse's office right now. Uh, hey, what are you doing? Hold on to my shoulders, okay? This is part of my duty as the equipment coordinator. What does that have to do with anything? I picked her up on my back and rushed over to the nurse's office. And when I got there... Excuse me, it's an emergency! Ah! Haji? Wait, what? Why are you here, Mirai? I was planning on changing here. Well, whatever, this is perfect, okay? Uh, can you run out and get the nurse? Mitsuki, what happened? He, he just forced me here because he hates me. What? Are you sure I should call the nurse? Shouldn't I be calling the police? What are you two talking about? After the misunderstanding was cleared up, Mirai immediately left to go and find the nurse. Jeez, it's not even a big deal. I'm not so convinced with the way that you're forcing each word out like that. Well, well I'm fine. If you're really fine, then a little more rest won't kill you, okay? Three minutes after that... Who's the guy who forced a girl into my office? Oh my god, he still misunderstood everything! No, it's not like that, okay? She had a heat stroke. Huh? Aren't you Haiji, the junior? Even if you ask me to kiss you right now, I just don't know if I could. Hey, Haiji, I thought what we had was special. What do you guys think is happening here right now? And Mirai, I don't think of you like that. He just forced me in here. This is devolving into chaos. Everyone just shut up right now! 
Eventually, the uproar died down, and it turned out that Mutsuki did indeed have a heat stroke. It looks like she's not getting enough sleep. She's out like a light right now. She seems much better, though. Really? That's good. What a big, strong boy you are! You carried her on your shoulders all the way here, huh? I was just doing my job as the equipment coordinator, you know? Haiji, I got Mitsuki's in your uniforms. Uh, oh, thanks. Oh, right. I really have to get back to the teacher's room. Uh, no problem. I'll stay here for a bit and make sure that she's okay. Thanks, Haiji. Way to go, Haiji. I'm sure she won't hate you as much anymore. Come on, dude. You're being too loud. Don't wake her up. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Do you think that you can get something for me for lunch? Yep. Leave it to me. But if I leave you alone with Mitsuki, you're not gonna do anything weird to her, are you? Dude. Really? Really, really? Uh, can I trust you on this? Yes, really, 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 okay? Is that good enough for you? And with that, Mid I went to go and buy lunch. But there was still this vague uncertainty floating in the air. What exactly was Mutsuki trying to tell me back there? Did I really know her from somewhere? I strained my pea brain as hard as I could, but I couldn't remember anyone like her. It was possible that she was just really confusing me for someone else, I guess. Well, whatever. I guess I'll get changed before Mirai and the nurse get back. I began changing into the outfit that Mirai brought for me earlier. Although, I had some complicated feelings about changing with the beautiful so-called Ice Queen right next to me. I figured that if I just went quickly enough, it'd be fine. But... Huh? Haiji? Yeah! I mean, uh, Mutsuki? Why are you up? I heard a strange rustling behind the curtain, and I was worried something happened. Uh, no, it's nothing. I was just getting changed, okay? Anyway, forget about that. Those scars on your back. Huh? Oh, those? Yeah, I got into an accident when I was little. It's from then. <sighs> Sorry, it's pretty ugly, huh? Now I'll hurry up and put a t-shirt on. Wait, what kind of accident was it? Oh, um, well, when I was in the fifth grade, the memories from back then came rushing back. It was a weekend, and I was just walking around when I saw a girl around my age from another town. She was trying to cross the street, but she ignored the red light, and I noticed too late that she was walking straight into oncoming traffic. Look out! The next time I woke up, three months had passed. Where am I? Oh, Haiji, you're awake. You're in the hospital. Do you remember anything? In the hospital? Some time passed after I finally recovered consciousness. I learned that I had jumped out to save the girl and had gotten into a massive crash myself, and I had to undergo a huge operation. Um, the girl? If you're talking about the girl you saved, she's fine. Oh, that's good. I didn't care about her name or what school she was going to. The important thing was that she was safe. Hi, G. The girl you saved and her family are saying they want to meet you. It's fine. I don't need to see them yet. I look like a mummy right now. I don't want to scare them. After that, I had to endure difficult physical therapy to build up enough strength to be able to walk again. <laughs> Just take it nice and slow. Right. It was a grueling experience, but eventually I was able to stand up and carry myself on two legs again. Although it ended up leaving behind those nasty scars that you saw. And that's why I've been volunteering to be on the Equipment Coordination Committee for five years now- Hey, are you listening? What the heck? Hey, Earth to Mutsuki? Re- uh Huh? Uh, sorry, I didn't catch that. I was instantly pulled into a massive hug. I'm so sorry! Whoa, what is it? Oh. Hey, calm down, Mutsuki. Haiji, I got you a cafe latte and some bread. Whoa! Mitsuki, are you awake? Ah! 
Ah, both of you? No, no, it's not what it looks like. Of course, there was another huge misunderstanding. Needless to say, it took some time to once again clear everything up. Eventually, Mutsuki started to calm down a bit. So, what are you trying to say, pal? You telling me that this schmo Haiji here was the one who rescued you back then? Why are you talking like a 50s detective? Yeah, when I was in 5th grade, he was the one who pushed me out of the way when I crossed the street without looking. I see, I see. But I was never able to confirm that Haiji was the same person until now. Why not? Don't you know his name? Oh, I get it. When I was in middle school, my parents got divorced and I took my mother's maiden name. Exactly. You looked similar enough and your first name was the same, but you had a different last name than I remembered. And when you saw his scars, you were finally able to make sure of the truth for yourself? I'm sorry for how rude I've been acting to you. It's fine. I'm just happy to hear that you don't hate me. But why were you so cold in the first place? I wanted to put distance between myself and everyone else except for him. Huh? Then you don't mean... Yeah, I've been meaning to thank you for so long for the way you put yourself in harm's way to save me. I decided that if I ever met you again, I would do whatever I could to thank you and become your girlfriend. I don't know how to thank you enough. You're my knight in shining armor. And you even carried me all the way to the nurse's office just today. I'm sorry, wait, you really want to be my girlfriend? I'm sorry, I can't. What? Why not? Because I'm the gym equipment coordinator? What? No, that has nothing to do with it. I, I just can't, okay? I'm sorry. You're apologizing again? Why was she turning me down? I didn't understand that at all. The mystery just deepened. I mean, you already have a girlfriend, don't you? N no, it's not like that between us yet. We simply couldn't. We're a pupil and a student. I, I genuinely don't know who you are or what you're talking about. Yeah, you're like a full-on adult. Also, a pupil and a student are the same thing. What? Anyways, forget about that, okay? What do you mean I have a girlfriend? Where'd you hear a fake rumor like that? Mirai told me... Mirai! Don't look at me like that. I was just trying to protect you from anyone trying to make fun of you. Then you don't have a super aggressive girlfriend who scratches your back all over in bed? What the- No! I mean, I wouldn't say no to something like that, but no! Then... Will you go out with me? Look, are you sure that this is the best time to be asking me out? He's right, you can't. Uh, Haiji's mine! No, I'm not- uh, Wait, is that how you felt about me all along? We're going to get married next year, right? Okay, calm down, Efri Jepstein. That is going way beyond what everyone else said. With everything that had happened in that room, I couldn't commit to any of them. Um, Haiji, do you think we could walk home together today? Sorry, but I'm already going home with Mirai today. Hmm, with Mimi. She said that there was somewhere she wanted to stop by on the way. Haiji, let's go! Hey, Mirai, I told you not to just run up and hug me like that. It's fine, we're best friends. Hmm... As you can see, my life as a gloomy equipment coordinator was changing by the day. So, why were you wearing the boys' uniforms all this time, huh? Hmm, I just like how they feel. Also, I wanted to hide myself from other guys until I found the person I knew I'd end up marrying someday. I guess if that's how you felt comfortable presenting yourself. But that's why you always want the change in the bathroom, huh? I went to the nurse's office most of the time. Then why'd you stop wearing a men's uniform? <laughs> Don't ask questions you already know the answer to, silly. Hey, wait a second, the two of us are not like that. Aw, you're blushing. I am not! Um, don't forget about me. I want to be your girlfriend too, Haiji. 
Go ahead then. As long as I get to be his wife. N th then I don't want to be your girlfriend anymore. I want to be the person who gets to be your wife. Tough luck. I snatched him up first. How did I end up in this chaos? Haiji, who are you going to marry someday? What? I haven't thought that far ahead, man. You put yourself in so much danger to rescue me. I'd do anything to repay you. <laughs> Mutsuki, let's just take a deep breath and calm down a bit, okay? <sighs> she used to be the prickly ice queen, but now she's so assertively trying to snuggle up to me. Come on, Haiji, out with it already. You're just having trouble because you can't find the words to say how much you're always gonna love me, right? No, and like I said, it's all still so far away. If you marry me, we'll be able to have fun for the rest of our lives. I'm rich, you know. Uh, Mirai, let go of me. She's really cute in her own way too, though. Yoo-hoo, don't forget about me. Where did you bubble up from? Excuse me, what do you think I am? Some kind of naturally occurring fresh mineral water from an immaculate babbling brook hundreds of feet underground? No, I was not trying to compare you to anything nearly as luxurious. Someone call the cops. Well, look who's Mr. Popular all of a sudden. I only wanted you to have eyes for me, though. We can get married next year, right? How did I end up in this pandemonium? Suddenly, there were three beautiful girls all aggressively pursuing me. But in the end, I had to decide to marry the one girl that I knew in my heart was right. And that was... Me, of course, right? No, it's me! Clearly, it was the amazing teacher in between them. Um, can you all stop? I'm trying to avoid wrapping this up with a cliffhanger. There's a girl who's known as the Ice Queen, and that girl is one of my classmates. People often talk about her transparent white skin and her beautiful face that's like a work of art, and also how nobody has ever seen her smile and how she rejects any guy that tries to come anywhere near her. Because of her coldness and her beauty, that's how she gained the nickname. They say that nobody in this school has ever seen her smile. This is a tale about how that beautiful girl, Aika Nakamura, becomes a little bit friendly with the average high school student, me, Shinya Hoshino. Actually, it might be a little bit different. To me, a plain nobody, this was a really, really special story. That morning, there wasn't a single cloud in the sky, but by the time everybody was leaving school, it was raining. It started as just a drizzle, but little by little, it became heavy rain. My mom looked at the weather forecast and forced me to take an umbrella, but I didn't think that I would have to thank her for it later. As I walked along the wet streets, I listened to the sound of the raindrops hitting my umbrella. And then, by coincidence, I saw her. The sight of a beautiful girl taking shelter from the rain at an old bus stop. Isn't that... Before I realized, my feet were already getting closer to her. Hey, are you okay? Hello? You don't have an umbrella? Even though I tried a few words at her, she didn't respond. Well, I guess I can tell by looking. And that person was the girl who they called the Ice Queen. I didn't think that we would be able to have a conversation from the beginning. In the first place, even though we were classmates, I'd never heard her voice, unless it was the bare minimum required when she was called on in class. Here, take this. Huh? You don't have an umbrella, and you're troubled by it, right? But why? I can tell by looking. That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking why you're giving me an umbrella when you don't know me. Well, I do know you. We are classmates, you know. Well, I guess I'm not that noticeable, so I don't blame you for not noticing me. Classmate? Oh, I I'm sorry. It's okay. Don't worry about it. 
I'm Shinya Hoshino. I'm Aika Nakamura. Yeah, I know. Uh, right, uh, of course. Well then, here you go. You can just leave this umbrella in the umbrella stand at school tomorrow. But if I borrow this from you, then aren't you going to get wet? My house is just over there, so I'm fine. But... You don't need to worry about it. See you! I placed the umbrella in her hands and ran out into the rain. I thought maybe I forced her into it, but that was all I could do for her. I felt like Miss Nakamura was saying something as I left, but because the rain washed it all the way, I wasn't able to hear anything. You've definitely caught a cold. Seriously? Your fever is over a hundred degrees. No wonder I'm not feeling well. Why would you forget the umbrella that I handed you in the morning? Oh, that brain of yours must be so empty. When I left school, it was just a drizzle, so I thought I could make it home without it. Even though they say idiots never get sick. Hey, Mom, why are you being so mean to me? You know that I'm sick. You did this to yourself. Anyway, take some medicine and you need to sleep. Yes, ma'am. You're in high school already. You can stay home alone, right? Yes, I'm in high school. I'm fine, Mom. Good. I'll do my best to come home early. It's okay. Don't worry. As long as I sleep, I'll get better soon. You worry too much, as usual. Have a good day at work. After my mom headed out for work, I messaged my friends that I would be staying home from school because I was sick, and I laid down in bed. Uh, I feel terrible, but I guess I did this to myself. Guess I tried to play it cool too much. But I got sick in the end, which isn't cool, so I guess that makes sense for me. I was talking to myself, but that didn't last for long. My body felt so heavy that I quickly fell asleep and melted into bed. I must have fallen asleep like that for hours. But then I woke up to the sound of the doorbell ringing. When I looked at the time, it was past 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It must be mom. I told her she didn't need to come home early just for me. I had just woken up. I didn't even realize the simple truth that if it was my mom, there would be no need for her to ring the doorbell. Hey mom, I'm not a little kid anymore. You worry too much. What? Mom? Miss Nakamura? Hello. Standing in the front door wasn't my mom, it was my classmate who is a thousand times cuter than my mom. I heard that you caught a cold. Uh. It must be because you lent me your umbrella yesterday. I'm sorry. So, I wanted to return the umbrella that you let me borrow and bring a gift. Oh, uh, it's very kind of... <coughs> you. Do you still have a high fever? Seems like it. Although, I've been sleeping all day, so I don't know. Sleeping all day? Have you eaten? I haven't eaten. Now that you mention it, I'm hungry. Um, well in that case, uh, please let me thank you. Thank me? For what? Like I said, for letting me borrow your umbrella. It's more than enough for you to come and return it in person like this. No, it's not okay. That's not enough to make me feel better. Uh, sure. Would you like some porridge? If you have any requests, then you're welcome to say them. Does that mean that you're going to cook for me? That's what I'm saying. Are you sure? I'm the one that's suggesting it. Well then, thank you. I wonder if I'm still dreaming. That that ice queen is in my house and cooking for me. Even if it was a dream, it's way too good to be true. Um... What is it? If you stare at me that much, it's uncomfortable. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Don't worry. I may not seem like it, but I'm confident I can cook well. I wasn't worried about that, uh, but... What? 
No, nothing. Here you go. Looks delicious. It's very, very hot, so please be careful when you eat it. Thank you. Would you like me to feed it to you? Are you sure? I know you have a high fever. Please, wait a minute. <sighs> I think it should have cooled down a little bit. Oh. oh, you must be starving. Here you go. <sighs> How is it? It's super delicious. It might be the most delicious thing I've ever had in my life. Uh, that's over the top. It's not. I mean it. Although I don't mind for you to say that. Here you go. Another bite. Uh, and so, until the bowl was empty, Miss Nakamura spoon-fed me the porridge she made. Thank you so much. I hope you liked it. It really was so delicious. That was quite the appetite. It must mean that you're probably close to getting better soon. I do feel better already. As soon as I said that, I felt dizzy. Hmm, looks like you still have a high fever. Your body must have warmed up from eating the porridge. M maybe. Would you like me to wipe your body? My body? Yes, you must feel so gross from sweating so much. It's okay, I can do that myself. Are you sure? You don't need to hesitate. You don't need to do that much. Well, I won't force you to let me, but... I appreciate the thought. Thank you. Well then, once I clean up the kitchen, I'll leave. I don't want to stay too long and be a burden to you. Don't worry about that. Please, leave it. I'll take care of it. Of course not. I'm the one that made it, so I need to take responsibility and clean up. Are you sure? I'm sure. That was when I realized that I was actually having a normal conversation with Miss Nakamura. Thank you so much for today. Truly. I should be thanking you. If you didn't let me borrow your umbrella, you never would have gotten sick. That might be true. I was just thinking that I was really lucky that I found the courage to lend you my umbrella. Why is that? Because I was able to get a little bit closer to you like this. Closer? Were we able to talk like we were friends? What? Yeah. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. You're right. Like friends. Uh, that's right. Although, there was a part of me that felt like we had crossed the line of friends already. I'm so happy. Ever since I got to high school, I haven't made any friends. Wait a minute. Did you actually want friends? That's a given, isn't it? But you don't normally ever let anybody near you, Miss Nakamura. It's because I get too nervous. But I also heard that you're always rejecting guys left and right. It's because I don't know them that well, so I try to ask them to start as friends, but every single person won't listen to what I have to say until the end. Not only that, but now I have this nickname called the Ice Queen, and none of the girls will come near me either, and it's the worst. <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right. Nobody has actually spoken to you, and they just decide based on the rumors. That's not okay. Mr. Hoshino? Yeah, it's decided. As long as you're okay with it, you'll make me your very first friend. Are you sure? I'm the one asking you. Yes, please. Let's please become friends. Sure. I'm so happy. I'm really so happy. Uh, all right. Do you mind letting go of my hand now? Why is that? Uh, uh, you see? Isn't this normal for friends? Yeah, that's true, but oh, I know. I don't want to give you my cold. <laughs> so, you, you know, the germs and the thing and the... the... Oh, that's true. I'm sorry. Well, then for today, once I clean up, I'll go home. For today? Yes, until your cold gets better, I'm going to come here every day to take care of you, Shina. Because we're friends. Shinya? Please let me call you that, and you can call me Aika. 
And just as Aika declared that day, every single day after school, she started coming over to my house. On the second day, is there something bothering you? No, it's just that I've never been inside a guy's room before and I'm amazed that this is what it's like. So how are you feeling? Oh yeah, much better than yesterday. Oh, in that case, I'm glad. Oh, should I make something for you to eat again today? No, uh, my mom actually left me some food already today. Is that so? Um, it's not like my cooking didn't suit you or anything like that, is it? As if. I told you, didn't I? That it was the most delicious thing I ever ate in my life? That actually wasn't the truth that my mom cooked. But this was my guilt from yesterday. Even if I was sick and feeling weak, I was letting myself get too spoiled by Aika. That being said, Aika's face when she was a little bit shy was also cute. More importantly, how was school today? It was normal. I see. Yes. Wait, that was bad, right? Even though you started up a conversation for us, I'm sorry. It's been a long time since I've had a conversation with a classmate. You don't need to worry about that. Shinya... I'm not feeling 100% yet either, so it's easy for me if the conversation is slow anyway. You're really kind, Shinya. That's not true. No, you are kind. On that day, we just talked about random things like this, and that was it. On the third day, for some reason, Aika was studying in my bedroom. Uh, you really don't need to do this much for me, Aika. No, please let me. It must be a pain to copy the notes, isn't it? It really makes me feel like a friend to take notes for a friend that's homesick. So it's fun. Right now, Aika was going out of her way to copy all of the notes from the last few days that I was not in school into my notebook. All because I made one silly comment for her to show me her notes when I got back to school. Thank you. That's a huge help. Not at all. In return, if I ever stay home from school, then you have to come and take care of me. Yeah, I promise. All right, I'm done. Take a look. I copied it well, didn't I? You sure did. With this, I think I'll be able to get through the next exam. Aika said that like she wanted me to compliment her, and she had an adorable smile on her face like a little girl. On the fourth day... Is that true? Yeah. I'll go back to school next week. My fever's completely gone now, too. That's good. It's all thanks to you, Aika. Thank you so much. Because you were here every single day, I was never bored. I was also looking forward to after school every day, but I guess next week is going to be different. What? You're going to be in class. It means I don't need to wait until after school anymore. And then, after the weekend... Yo, Shinya! You were out for a while. Yeah. You must have been bored. Mm, to be honest, not really. What are you looking around for? I was just wondering if Aika is in yet. Aika? Why are you talking about the Ice Queen like she's your friend? She's gonna glare at you with those cold eyes. No, that's not the case. That's just because she's nervous, and when you talk to her, she's actually a normal girl. Why are you saying that? Did you go crazy or see some weird dreams when you were sick? How rude. It was at that moment, there was a loud voice in the hallway. That's enough already! What is wrong with you? What do you mean, what? What's so wrong about Tatsuya? Just because you have a good face, you're getting way too carried away. Oh, it's finally exploded. What's that? On Friday, the ace of the baseball team tried to ask the Ice Queen out. But then, apparently the Ice Queen was in some kind of rush, and she left without even listening to him. And so, all of the fans of Mr. Baseball Ace are pissed off. Hey, wait! By the time I understood the situation, my body was already moving. You've been irritating this whole time! Just because people call you the Ice Queen, you think you're all that! 
I don't think anything like that. And plus, I don't like that nickname anyway. Stop lying, even though you never said that once. Just because you're pretty and you're popular with the guys, and then you get to mess around with them however you want. I bet you think that you're so cool on the inside. I don't. Yeah, you do. So that's why you can just go home without even listening to what Tatsuya has to say. Well, that's... See? You can't say anything back. That was my fault. Shinya? Huh? And who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Get lost. It is my business. What is that supposed to mean? I was staying home from school last week with a cold, and she, Aika, was coming to take care of me. That's why she was in a rush to leave. That's why, if there's anyone who's responsible, it's me. If you're going to try to go after Aika, then you should go after me instead. Wait, wait a minute. What is that supposed to mean? That's right. Aika and me, we're... I was just about to say friends when... You're dating? Excuse me? My choice of words at that moment was bad. Unfortunately, I used words that could be taken in a number of different ways at the end. And then, one second later, without even giving me a moment to correct it... Hey, did you hear that? The Ice Queen has a boyfriend! Are you serious? You were hiding it until now? Wait a minute. Is that why you've been rejecting all of the guys until now without any reason? Within an instant, the wrong information spread throughout the school. And when that happened, everybody seemed to not care about the fact that the ace of the baseball team was rejected. If anything... Oh, so that's all it was. Well, yeah, if your boyfriend is homesick with a cold, then of course you'd be worried. But also, I don't hate girls like that who are thoughtful of their boyfriends. Sorry for making assumptions. It... it's okay. So, since when have you two been dating? For some reason, the group of girls now looked up to Aika, and she was being bombarded with questions. It seemed like all of the distance that had existed before between Aika and everybody else disappeared. And Aika seemed a little bit happy about it. It left an impression on me. Aika, I'm sorry things turned out that way. Not at all. You didn't do anything wrong. You were trying to save me, weren't you? It made me really happy. But even though school ended, everybody was still under the misunderstanding that we were dating. But also, it was obvious that if people found out that this wasn't true, then it was going to become even more of a pain. So I gave up on trying to fix that misunderstanding. I really have nothing but gratitude for you. Thanks to you, I was able to make a lot of friends in just one day. Starting with Mio, then Sagako, and Suzuki. Aren't those the girls who were bullying you this morning? Yeah, but after that, we became friends. So, um, if it's okay with you, Shinya, then we can just... Oh, sure. You want to continue with the fake relationship, right? No, what I'm trying to say is, I don't want it to be fake. It can be real, or make it real, or I want it to be real. Sorry, what are you saying? Uh, nothing. Never mind. Forget it. Really? I don't have any more courage left in me, so please just leave it at that for now. I don't really get it, but sure. By the way, Shinya, your cold is gone now, so I can hold your hand, right? Huh? I'm going to hold it, because I want to hold your hand. And so, she took my hand in hers. If anyone sees this, then they're going to go deeper into the misunderstanding again. It's not a misunderstanding, so it's fine. Well, I guess friends can hold hands too. <sighs> Shinya, you are so clueless. Looks like this is going to be hard for me. Even though she said that, Aika looked happy and smiled. Sayajima, I like you! Please go out with me! Thank you, but I'm sorry. I have no intention of dating anyone right now. Upon arriving to school in the morning, I received a confession just as I normally do, and I rejected it just as I normally do. By now, this kind of thing is nothing to me. 
It's practically part of my daily routine. Cole, I heard you rejected another confession. And from Class B Sasaki? With those idol level looks? It's not right for me to say yes if I don't like her, right? Damn you for being so hot! If you have no interest in dating, you should just swap your face with mine! Come on, don't belittle yourself like that. You're pretty good looking too. Ah, uh, Saijima's so cool, isn't he? I want to try going out with him, even if it's only for a single date. I don't actually want to be popular, but thanks to my parents, I'm blessed with a face that attracts girls like flies. To be honest, having to constantly reject them is grating on me. It's awkward, and I feel guilty whenever I do it. However, not bothering to try to understand my dilemma, the people around me have even given me a nickname. The Impregnable Fortress, they call me. Ugh, I'm not interested in love or dating in the first place, and I don't understand what's so good about being popular. Just, Just explode, explode yourself right now! If I did, you two would be caught up in it too, you know. Good morning, everyone. Oh, it's Shizuku! Man, she's super pretty today, too. Morning, Shizuku! Morning! <laughs> too so cute! cute. To have seen her beautiful face, I can now die without regrets. You're as dazzling as ever, Shizuku. Morning, Saijima. Morning, Yukinose. <laughs> You're looking handsome today as well. It's an honor to hear that from the most beautiful girl in school. A handsome guy and a pretty girl in the same frame? It's like there's a halo of light surrounding them wherever they go! Seriously? And to think they sit next to each other, too! Oh, what a precious sight. I'm so lucky to be in this class. So I heard you rejected another confession. And so did you. I hear things too, you know. <laughs> Do you really have no interest in dating, though? None at all. Hmm. Just asking out of curiosity, but if I confess to you, would your answer still be the same? Probably. I do think you're pretty and cute, but that isn't enough to make me want to go out with you. Mm hmm? Uh, is that so? Hmm? How about we play a little game, then? A game? Yep, starting from today, I'm going to seduce you with everything I have. If I succeed in making you like me, then you lose. Why do I have to participate in something like that? Don't tell me you like me, Yukinose. Not particularly. It's more of a matter of pride. Pride? I mean, I've been popular my whole life. No matter how handsome the guy, they've never been able to resist me. You're the only exception. That bothers me. I never knew you were this kind of person, but are you sure you want to show this side of you to the person you're trying to seduce? You're different from all the guys I've encountered before, after all. Plus, even if you see my real self, I'm confident I can still make you fall for me. <laughs> Fine. I guess I've been kind of bored lately anyway. Hey! So, we'll spend a lots of time together from now on, Ko. 
Suddenly calling me by my first name, huh? Coming on strong, Shizuku. That was how this strange game started between us. The next day, an absolute heartthrob of a girl showed up in our classroom. Good morning, everyone! She's adorable! <laughs> ah, she's glowing even brighter than before! How? Whoa, my heart rate's going through the roof just by looking at her! Within just three seconds of entering the classroom, she took out our entire class. Also, I never knew my classmates were so dramatic. Morning, Ko. <laughs> How's this? I went to the beauty salon yesterday for a few special touch-ups. Surely this is enough to make your heart flutter? Yeah, morning. Ugh. He's yawning? <sighs> What's the meaning of this? Did you not fall after seeing how he looked today? Oh, I spent some time at the salon yesterday. Do I seem any different today? Right, you're just as beautiful as always. What does he mean, as always? Is he blind? Come on, everyone. Class is starting. Oh, I forgot my textbook. Do you mind sharing yours with me? Oh, no problem. Aren't you sitting way too close, though? It's easier to see the textbook this way, isn't it? Exactly! I'm pressed up against you, and I'm wearing my mother's expensive perfume right now. Some light physical contact coupled with the elegant fragrance. This will work for sure. Are you wearing perfume, Shizuku? Isn't that against school rules? Uh, it'll be fine. Is that seriously all you have to say? You're telling me this guy has completely no reaction to me sitting so close to him? No, he definitely is shy and panicking internally or something. <sighs> Another yawn? Can you wake up and look at me already? Phew, it's pretty hot today, huh? S super embarrassing, but what about if I do this? I guess. Say, I have no idea what's going on with this question. Do you know? Oh, um, if you look at these two sentences... Are you for real? You're supposed to be looking at me, not the textbook! What do I do now? In the end, Ko didn't pay any special attention to me at all. I was in utter shock to my system, and I realized something critical. I'm totally out of ideas of what to do next. I've never needed to do anything to boys to like me. Yes, you heard that right. Thanks to my overwhelming beauty, guys can't help but crush on me, and I've only ever needed to smile to capture the hearts of all of them. In short, I... I don't know what specific things I need to do to get a guy to like me. Other than my looks and my smile, I have nothing else in my arsenal. This won't do. Let's look it up. Ways to make guys like you. Look your best. Well, I have no problem there. Ways to behave. Oh, I see. I can make that work. Oh, wow, there's a lot of other stuff too. Look, Shizuku's looking at her phone. How cute. She's probably watching cat videos or something. Let's walk home together, Ko. Ah, sure. Hey, when did those two start calling each other by their first name? So, it's like that, huh? <sighs> Damn it! Are all good-looking people just meant to be with each other? What's left for the rest of us, then? First, let's try this out. Tucking my hair behind my ear, according to my research, this ranks 6 on the list of most attractive actions to men. 
Man, I wish summer vacation would come sooner. Zero V action! Don't panic, I expected this. Next is the sideway glance. Do you have any plans for summer vacation? Not really. Oh, I might go on holiday with family though. Wow, really? Where are you going? The Maldives, or so they said. Huh? I'm jealous. Wait, why are you just answering me normally? At least notice what I'm doing. If all these subtle actions don't work, then I have no choice. Sorry, Ko. I think I'm a little tired from P.E. earlier. Could you let me lean on you while we walk together? Huh? You're tired? Are you sure you're okay? I yeah, I'm feeling a bit weak, so do you mind walking like this for now? In that case, should we go to the nurse's office? Huh? W what are you doing? If you're feeling this bad, it's better to ask the nurse to check you out. Uh, but why isn't he affected at all? And a bridal carry out of the blue? He seems so used to doing it too. I won't lose. I'll make you fall in love with me even if it's the last thing I do. Uh, okay, I'll be counting on you. Sure, leave it to me. Come on, is that it? Why is my heart the one racing? Oh my gosh, look! Saijima is carrying Yukinose in his arms! Oh, no way! Have they started dating already? Good for them! They're perfect for each other! Uh... I think I'm fine now. Put me down, Ko! No can do. I can't let a girl who's not feeling well walk on her own. They're looking! Everyone's staring at us! Your health is more important right now. We can explain things to them later. <laughs> and we're practically glued to each other right now. Why aren't you nervous at all? Who says I'm not? I'm nervous about your illness getting worse if I don't get you to the nurse's office soon. Thank you for worrying about me, but that wasn't what I meant. I was talking about what the guys would feel towards a pretty girl, idiot. Were you? My family's full of beautiful people, so good looks don't really faze me. What? You never told me that before! But, <laughs> you're actually pretty cute, huh? Now you realize? The Shizuku I see every day feels like someone playing the character of a beautiful honor student. I've never seen your emotions on full display until today. I prefer the Shizuku I got to know today. <gasps> Why am I so drawn in by his word? What was it you said? The first person to fall in love loses? Huh? That was the rule. So if you fall for me... That means I win, right? Huh? Free on! And let me lay down already! The next day, an absolutely heartthrob of a guy showed up in our classroom. Morning. Oh, he's so cool! I feel like he's even hotter today. Isn't he popular enough already? Morning, Shizuku. You got here earlier than me today, huh? Morning, Ko. You seem kind of different today. Yeah, I made a visit to the beauty salon, too. Hmm? You did? He's so hot, he's so hot, he's so hot, he's so hot, he's so hot. Hold it in. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care at all. You look adorable today. <gasps> don't suddenly do something like that! It's said on the internet that girls like it when guys do this. Timing matters too, you know. Yukinosa you know, is so lucky. He really surprised me in the morning. Don't tell me he was actually serious about what he said yesterday. Hey, Shizuku. Our next class is in another room. Let's go. 
Uh, oh, okay. Great. Oh, also... Doing? It's the wall slam. It's said online that girls like when guys do this. Oh, you're just looking down on girls. And instead of following online tips, why don't you just use your own head for once? Not that I'm exactly in the position to say that. It also said to whisper sweet nothings into your ear. Shortcake. What a waste of a wall slam. He's definitely making fun of me. Unforgivable. In the first place, he's just using the tips on the internet without putting any extra thought into the sincerity into them. But why am I still so... I don't want to admit it. I refuse to be the loser. I'm going to be the one to fluster him next time. I'll make him fall in love with me, and then I'll reject him ruthlessly. Now let's move on to the next equation. Oh, lean over a little. Hmm? Huh? What is it? I like you. <gasps> <laughs> Take this. The killing blow. Saying it in the middle of the class, there's a thrill in knowing our classmates could have overheard. I like you too. <gasps> Counterattack successful. <laughs> That's sneaky! After that, an intense battle of push and pull unfolded between Ko and me, becoming fuel of the school's rumor mill. So, Yukinose, you definitely like Saijimi, don't you? Huh? What gives you that idea? You don't have to hide it. They think you have a great chance with him. We're rooting for you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Ko! You've been chasing after Yukinose a lot lately. Do you like her? It's not like that. I just want to get closer to her. You don't seem completely gone for her. In that case, please switch lives with me. And I thought I told you to treasure yourself more. All right, Shizuku. Do you want to go on a date with me next Sunday? <gasps> sure, I'd love to. I'm looking forward to it. I'm jealous! In front of everyone? Don't think I don't know what he's trying to do. Fine then. It's a fight he wants, it's a fight he'll get. And on that day of the date? Hi, Shizuku. Did you wait long? Oh, what? Why is he so handsome? Not really. It's not even our agreed meeting time yet, anyway. I'm calm. Totally and completely calm. You look really pretty out of uniform. Oh, no. <sighs> Did you dress up so nicely just to meet me? Thank you. <gasps> no, I didn't. I'm only doing this to win our game. Either way... I'm super happy right now. You're beautiful, Shizuku. Whatever, let's go already. Whoa, those two look way too good together. Are they celebrities? Is there some kind of photo shoot happening here? I was supposed to make him fall for me fast and possible and get the game to be done with, but he keeps sending me off kilter. For now, the most important thing is to focus on the date. He definitely has something up his sleeve. I just know it. Where do you want to go first? I'm not really good at roller coasters and other thrilling stuff, if that's what you're into. Oh, me neither. We agree on that, at least. And by the way, I can't handle scary things like haunted houses either. You have more weaknesses than I thought, but well, I guess I'm the same. How about we go on the spinning coffee cups, then? That's an unexpectedly tame choice for a cool-looking guy like you. This sort of feels like any other day at the amusement park. Isn't he going to do something? This is quite fun, actually. Well, he looks like he's enjoying himself. I guess even a hot guy is just normally a guy in the end. I've never seen him make that face before. Thank you for waiting. Here's your limited edition couple drink. Damn it, right when I let my guard down. I'm kind of thirsty after all the rides. You could have just ordered a normal drink, though. So how about the person who becomes shy and lets go of the straw first is the loser? Sounds good. I'll win you for sure. Ready, set, go. <gasps> His face is closer than I expected. Hmm? I can't. That was fast. I couldn't help it. Your face was way closer than I thought it'd be. 
You really are adorable, you know. I think you'd be a lot more popular if you let your true self out a little more. Do I need to be more popular than I am now? <laughs> the truth is, I'm grateful to you, Shizuku. Huh? For what? I've had no interest in love until now. I thought it was way more fun fooling around with all my guy friends. I've never, ever had a proper romantic relationship before. Is that so? I get it. He's the same as me. Many people like me, but I've never been able to be in a relationship before. It's my first time going out on a date with a girl like this, but I enjoyed myself a lot because it was with you, Shizuku. Does that mean you like me? So am I the winner? Yeah, seems like it. Huh? The truth is, I've always wanted to know what true love feels like, so thank you. I think I finally understand love now. Y you're joking, right? I'm very serious. Seeing you try so hard to win me over and turning all red because of something I said was adorable. I enjoyed every single second I spent with you, and I want to spend even more time with you from now on. My first love. <gasps> I love you, Shizuku. Please be my girlfriend. <gasps> Is this really happening? I thought he was just going along with me for the fun of it. What do I do now? It's too sudden. Why am I even thinking about this? I should reject him ruthlessly. Then my victory would be complete, and then after that... We no longer have anything to do with each other. Huh? Not that I care, right? In fact, I'd be relieved to be rid of him. Or I should be, but... Um... Oh, why can't I say anything? Huh? Could it be I, I was having fun during the time I was with him? On one condition. Condition? The rules of our game will change going forward. We'll be a trial couple for now. If I become serious about a relationship, then I'm the loser. If you can't make me serious about our relationship, then you're the loser. If you're okay with that, I'll be your girlfriend. What the heck am I saying? Thank you, Shizuku. I'm so happy. <gasps> I'll do my best to make you love me. J sure. Well, I understand the feeling of wanting to find love, so I don't mind giving you the chance of it. Half a year passed in the blink of an eye. We were still in the middle of our you lose if you get serious game. Here, I finished knitting your scarf. You can have it. You made this yourself? It looks great. Thanks. I'll treasure it. We can put it around both of us. No, thank you. Put it around yourself like a normal person. See that? That's Saejima and Yukinose. They always look so good together. But apparently they're not dating? What's with that? They have to be. Ugh. Shizuku, are you still not serious about us? Not yet. You should be prepared. I could dump you any time. Then I'll just have to work hard to make sure that doesn't happen. Since it's cold, shall we hold hands? Well, I, I guess. Your hand's tiny. So? I'm saying it's cute. Oh, right. I've realized something recently. I'm more wishy-washy than I thought, and I'm a coward. When I aren't a real couple, this is all just a game. I wanted to make Ko fall even deeper in love with me and dump him when he did. Hey, Ko. What I'm going to say after this is just a lie. Just part of my strategy to win our game. I still don't know love. I love you. Or at least, that's what I'm going to pretend for a while longer. When I opened the email I just received, the very first thing it said was, I'm sorry to inform you that... Blah blah blah. It was a rejection letter from a company I had interviewed for earlier. I'd gotten so many, I was numb to it. I hated the fact that I had grown used to getting these rejection letters. If you're sorry, why don't you just hire me? Damn it. The only thing I could do at that point was swear. I noticed a beautiful girl standing in front of me, and a car heading straight towards her. Watch out! I moved without thinking, grabbed her hand, and pulled her into my arms. I got to her just in the nick of time. The car zoomed past us at an incredible speed. My heart was pounding in my chest. The adrenaline was still rushing in my body, and I was covered in cold sweat. That was close.
close. Um... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I had no time to warn you. No, I'm grateful. Thank you for saving me. Are you hurt anywhere? No, I feel fine. Now that I'm getting a good look at her, she's super gorgeous. She has a long and slender figure, long legs, pale skin, and a small face. Is something wrong? Uh, uh, no, nothing at all. Also... Yes? It seems safe now, so can you let me go? Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I promise I wasn't trying to do anything to you. Don't worry, I, I know. <laughs> it was just a pretty embarrassing position. Uh, so I'll see you around then. Please wait. Yes? Please let me thank you in some way. Uh, you don't have to. It wasn't a big deal. But... Really, don't worry about it. I'm just glad you're not hurt. Bye then. For some reason, I started booking it as if I was escaping or something. It's not like I did anything wrong. I don't know why I was being so weird. To think that this one incident would end up changing my entire life. But of course, I had no idea at the time. A few days later... Oh, there he is! He's the one! He's the man who saved you? Yeah, I recognize him. Hey, you, over there. Uh, me? Could you give me a little of your time? May I ask why? I just wanted to thank you for giving our talent a helping hand the other day. Uh, are you sure you've got the right person? Yes, she is. I wouldn't forget the guy who saved my life. Oh, it's you. Hello again. See? We do have the right person. I heard you ran away from Meguru after you saved her the last time. Huh? You won't get away that easily this time. Saying that, she smiled sweetly at me. But I could feel an unyielding pressure behind her easygoing attitude. Uh, what's going on? Obviously, this is part of our thanks to you. Thank you for protecting our dear Meguru from that car. Eat all you want. Don't hold back. Is there anything you don't like? No, it all looks good. Great. Tuck in. Not you, Megadu. You know you have to watch how much you eat. Huh? Don't even try. Maintaining your figure is part of your job, too. But just for today... No can do. Come on. Uh... By her job, you mean... Also, where exactly are we? My apologies. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm the owner of this model agency. You can call me Kunizaki. Oh, okay. And this girl right here is one of our top models. I'm Megaru Isaki. So you're a model. No wonder you're so beautiful. He called me beautiful. <laughs> My name is Yohichi Ibuse. Yohichi, I'd like to formally thank you once again. Please stop. I didn't really do much. No, if Megadu had been injured, it would have put her career as a model and maybe even this entire company at risk. You should know how much this means to us. I'd like to sincerely express my gratitude as well. Thank you very much for what you did. Where do you work, Yohichi? Now, now, Megaru. Don't poke your nose in his private business. Uh, sorry. It's fine. Where you ask, right now, I'm not working anywhere. What do you mean? I graduated from university in spring, and job hunting hasn't been going very well. On the day we met, I was just coming from a failed interview, too. Hmm? Sounds like you've been having a hard time. <laughs> You're not wrong. Will you consider working at our agency, then? Huh? You could be my new manager. What do you think, Miss Kunizaki? 
I would be more than happy to have one more employee on board. We're seriously lacking manpower right now. Enough that you almost got knocked down by a car because you're completely alone. So it's decided, right? Huh? Wait, what's happening again? My previous manager quit a while ago, and there's been no one to replace him. If you'd like, you could be my new manager. I think we offer a decent salary as well. I'll be the one to discuss that with him. But what are your thoughts about this, Yohichi? Megadu already seems quite attached to you. If it's at all possible, I'd love for you to take on the job. I felt like I was burning in the depths of hell, and suddenly, God had lowered a lifeline down from the heavens to me! So what did I do, you ask? I grabbed it! I grabbed that lifeline with all my might! That was how I became Megaru's manager! Yohichi, thank you for driving today! Not at all. More importantly, your next shoot is in an hour. How long will it take to get there? Around 45 minutes. Okay. You can take a nap if you want, you know. You've been working all morning. The same goes for you, Yohichi. I'm a guy, though. Uh, uh that's no good. Don't look down on us girls. <sighs> You're right. I'm sorry. Being a model's manager was a lot busier than I thought it'd be, but I found it a really rewarding job. And the models like Meguru work way harder than the managers do, so I couldn't even complain. She would have told me that I was looking down on girls again if she knew what I was thinking. But a man has his own sense of honor and pride, too. I really am fine, though. I'm used to it, after all. You said you've been a model since you were a child? Yep. Didn't you find it difficult? What do you mean? When you should have been spending your childhood playing with your friends, you've been busy working instead. I just wonder whether you ever got jealous of the other kids. True, there were a few times when I was jealous of them, but I love my job. I see. That reminds me, the photographer at your last shoot praised you just now. Really? Yeah. He told me that it'd be his pleasure to work with you again. I'm happy to hear it. You're so good at your job too, Yohichi. Huh? Where did that come from? It's an important part of a manager's duties to motivate his talents, you know? And you've made me super motivated. I see. That's great. I'm counting on you to do the best job at your next shoot, too. Got it. Leave it to me. The truth is, Meguru is an impressive model. When she faces the camera, the entire atmosphere around her changes. Meguru in front of the camera is not just a pretty girl. She exudes a charm that draws the attention of everyone around her and makes it hard to tear your eyes away. Pose by pose, she conquered the hearts of all the staff at the photo shoot. I've never understood the hype around models, but now I've changed my mind completely. And now my job is to convey this excitement to people all over the world. Before I knew it, I'd completely fallen in love with my work as a model manager. Yohichi. Good work today, Meguru. How was it? Did I manage to do the best job? I give you a 120 out of 100. Yay! Let's call it a day then. I'm so tired. I'll drive you to your apartment. Take a good rest. You've earned it. Oh, thank you. Home sweet home, I can't wait. Escorting models to and from photo shoots is only part of what a manager does. I also have to arrange Megaru's schedule and network with people to promote her and get her more jobs. And then there's the paperwork. On that day, I was at the office working through the mountain of paperwork I've been putting off. Ibusa. Yes? Regarding Megadu's next gig, what do you think of this? This is... Exactly. An offer's come in requesting Megadu specifically. This is amazing. It's from a famous magazine that even a guy like me knows about. I know. This could be her big break. So, may I ask why you don't look happy at all? Well done. I like my employees to be observant. This offer is a double-edged sword. 
If this doesn't go well, it'll be a big blow to her reputation in the industry, you know? Well, I guess you're right. But if it's Meguru, I don't think we have to worry. She does a good job no matter what she's faced with. Well, in normal photo shoots, yes. And what would be an abnormal photo shoot? Oh no, that came out wrong. That's not what I mean at all. I'll get to the point. The theme of the special edition they're hiring her for is a date with my beloved. Okay, and what's the problem with that? That girl, because she's so focused on being a model, she has no experience with the opposite sex at all. She might be already 20 years old, but her knowledge of romance and love are practically none. With how well known the magazine is, even the slightest flaw could be her undoing. Well, it's our own fault for putting so much pressure on her. By the way, you're her manager, aren't you? I am. You realize that it's part of your job to make sure she succeeds in this. Of course. Wait, don't tell me. As expected, you're quick on the uptake. What a good employee I picked up that day. Yohichi Ibuse, this is an order from your boss. Take Megadu out on a date. And so, I did. You're okay with coming here for our date? Yep. When I asked Meguru where she wanted to go, she picked the amusement park without hesitation. How long has it been since I last came here? And it's also been a long time since I've been on a date at all. I haven't had a girlfriend for several years now. I decided from the beginning that I would definitely go to the amusement park for my first date. Really? Yep, I want to live out my shoujo manga fantasies. I see. Is this your first time here on a date, Yohichi? Uh, yeah. With me, you mean? Don't make me spell it out. And why are you bringing that up anyway? You know it's taboo to talk about exes during a date, right? My bad. But that's a 10 point deduction for you. Huh? Why? I don't like how you seem so used to dealing with girls. <laughs> You're not making it easy, huh? So, in order to make up the points you lost, you better put your all into giving me a great date. Understood. Now then, where do we start? Let's see. The roller coaster's the best ride here. Yes, let's go. After that, we put aside the fact that we actually came here as part of work and enjoyed our time together to the fullest. First was the roller coaster. Ah! Ah! Next was the carousel. Yohichi, over here! As Meguru waved joyfully at me, I felt myself struck by the jealous stares of all the jealous guys around us. How did that average Joe get such a cute girlfriend? That question came across very clearly, despite no words being spoken. I felt both extreme discomfort and a strange sense of superiority at the same time. We went to the spinning coffee cups next. Yohichi, turn it harder! Are you sure? Perry, I'm having fun! Fine! Then leave it to me! Take this! <laughs> we did the haunted house, too. D did we have to come in here? Huh? So you're scared of ghosts and stuff? Who said so? Uh, I'm not scared at all! Oh, behind you. There's one here, too. <sighs> and over there. No! And you said you weren't scared at all. Yohichi, you meanie! You're still just as cute when you're frightened, Meguru. Well, you're fired. I don't want you as my manager anymore. Please forgive me. No way! I'll make sure to properly protect you from now on. Mm, I suppose I can look past it for now. We bought some soft serve when we got hungry. 
Is this going in your calories for today? We're in the middle of our date, you know? No talking about calories today. Sorry. Oh wow, this is so good! Really? You wanna try some? Huh? Here, open up! What? Come on, it's melting! Mm. Don't mind if I do then. Mm. How is it? Mm. It's delicious! <laughs> I know, right? As we had decided before, we went on the Ferris wheel last. Wow, amazing! You can see the whole city from here! My apartment's somewhere over there, right? Actually, it's in the other direction. You're kidding! I kind of suspected this before, but you really have no sense of direction, huh? Seriously, you're being mean again! <laughs> I never know you had the sight of you, Yohichi. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if you're bad at directions, because I'll get you safely to your destination no matter what. That's true too. I can leave it to you then? Of course. It'd be my pleasure. In that case, I'll be counting on you. How did you find the date today? It was super fun! So, did I manage to get back the points I lost in the beginning? <laughs> you got them back and more! Thank goodness. But I feel really sorry for intruding on one of your days off. Miss Kunizaki might get angry if she hears me say this. But halfway through, I started enjoying myself and completely forgot that I was supposed to be working. <laughs> what a sneaky guy. Our little secret, right? This sneaky guy here just wants to go out on a date with a cute girl. And get that little bit of extra pay at the same time. Um, Yohichi. What is it? If my next shoot goes well, can you go out on another date with me as a reward? You sure you want to go out with me again? I'm sure. It would probably be difficult to go out as part of work again. Right. So if you don't mind doing it during non-work hours... Really? In exchange, can you do the best photo shoot you've done so far? Just you wait. I'm going to charm the whole world into falling in love with me, including you. I'm looking forward to it. That was a joke, you know. There's no way I could do something like that. Have more faith in yourself. If it's you, Meguru, I believe you'll definitely be able to do it. And on the day of the photo shoot, everyone could tell that Meguru was different from before. She was overflowing with more confidence and poise than ever, drawing the eyes of everyone in the room. Wow, she's spectacular! Seeing the expression on her face, she looked exactly like a girl in love. How can any guy who sees this not fall in love with her? It seems that I've done my best work so far as well. When I think about the fact that I helped to draw that expression out of her, I'm proud of myself too. Whoa, 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 Meguru! What are you on today? Is there something wrong? Not at all. On the contrary, since when were you able to make such a wonderful expression in front of the camera? Was it that good? Yeah. I've been a model photographer for a long time, and girls on your level only come around once every decade or so. Thank you. So how'd you improve so much so suddenly? I'm not entirely sure, but I think... Yeah? It's because I found my Prince Charming. <laughs> Prince Charming? Yep. I'm putting my all into it now because he told me he'd go on another date with me if I do a good job. I see. Could it be that young man over there? That's him. As she nodded, a light blush stained her cheeks a beautiful pink. Without thinking, the photographer took a picture of that sight. By doing so, he preserved the moment in eternity. 
It wasn't a conscious choice. It was simply instinct telling him that he would regret it forever if he missed it. And he was right. With that beautiful shot of a blushing girl in love adorning the cover of the magazine, Meguru Isaki's name became known to the whole world. But that moment belonged to us and us alone. My parents got divorced when I was a lot younger than I am now. I was going to be taken by my father and my little sister, Shizuka, by our mother. Take care. I don't wanna. I wanna be with you. Don't complain too much. I got along well with my sister, but was one year younger than me. She always had a weak body and was sticking right behind me anywhere that I went. <laughs> but maybe it was also my fault because she was always weak and I was always overprotective of her. Take care of your health. I want you to come with me. But if I do that, then Dad will be left alone. I want to be with Daddy too. If we could do that, then they wouldn't have gotten a divorce. But I don't wanna. I want to be with my brother forever. Me too, but... Aww, but even though I'm asking this much, you can't say yes? It's not that I can't say yes. It's impossible. But why? Because we're still kids. Well then, when we become adults, can we be together? I don't know about that. When we become adults, will you be with me? When Shizuka became like this, that was the only time she was strong. And so, I said a few words to calm her down. If I feel the same way as you at that time, then maybe. Then it's a promise. Yeah, a promise. Then I can wait. I can wait until I get to be with you again someday. You're a good girl. It was a really immature promise, but at the time, it was everything to us. See you, Rintaro. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Rintaro? What's the matter? See you again. Yeah, someday. And so, my little sister left the house along with my mother. From there, almost ten years flew by. <laughs> On that day at school, something was wrong. It felt like there was a commotion. Everybody was making a big deal, almost like there was a festival. Did something happen? Huh? Do you still not know, Rintaro? Like I said, what is it? A new transfer student came today. No, they didn't. What are you saying? Not our class. In the freshman classroom. Oh, is that so? Yeah, and about that. Apparently that girl is super cute. I see. What do you mean, I see? You always have the worst reactions when it comes to things like this. <laughs> well, I guess I do. You sad little boy. Why is that the response? Is there any young guy out there who doesn't have any interest in a cute girl our age? It's not that I'm not interested, it's just that... Just that what? She's completely unrelated to me, so it doesn't make me interested. What do you mean, dreams? Listen, in times like this, in rom-com mangas and movies, sometimes a transfer student is a long-lost childhood friend. Or actually, the beautiful girl that you saved the other day. Or actually, your long-lost little sister and... Big brother! Yeah, that's right. And then they call out for the big brother. <laughs> I'm a big brother? Who are you? Exactly. Wait, you're the new transfer student everyone's talking about. Yes, I finally found you! Um, who are you? I tilted my neck. It was true. She really was a beautiful girl that everybody would cause a commotion about. However, I didn't know anybody like this in my world. What, have you already forgotten about me? Are you sure you haven't mistaken me for the wrong person? No, I haven't made a mistake. You're Rintaro, my big brother, aren't you? I'm not your big brother, but you're not wrong that I'm Rintaro. Why would you say such a mean thing? Even though you promised me when we became adults we would be together forever, and because of that promise, no matter how lonely or sad I got, I was able to hold on. What? Did you already forget about the promise we had? You were having a beautiful girl like this calling you her big brother, and on top of that, you had promised a future with her. 
Is that what's going on? No. What is that supposed to mean? Basically, you always knew that you were on the winning side, so you were just making fun of all of us on the inside. Well, if you had a wife to be that was pretty, of course you wouldn't have any interest in rumors about girls. Shh. What are you saying? I don't know what you're talking about. You liar. Hey, you. Yes? I hate to say it, but there's only one person in this world that's allowed to call me their brother. Is that... My parents got divorced when I was younger, and I have a little sister that my mother took with her. The only sister that I have is that girl, Shizuka. Hmm, what are you saying, Rentaro? What I'm saying is that nobody besides Shizuka has any right to call me their big brother. But I am Shizuka. Huh? I am your little sister, Shizuka. What are you saying? Shizuka has a weak body, and she was little and... Oh, come on, what year are you living in? Because... what? You're in high school now, which means that Shizuka is also in high school. When I was three years old and you were being mean to me, you locked me in the bathroom and Dad had to come and break me out, didn't he? I apologize for that time. Wait, if you know about that, then does that mean that you're actually Shizuka? That's what I've been trying to say this whole time. I... I see, so you are Shizuka. I'm home, Rintaro. Oh, welcome home. Wait, but why are you here? My little sister had always been the same little girl in my mind, and yet she had grown up to be this beautiful. After school, we made time for Shizuka to tell me all about her situation. When did you come back over here? Just last week, because of Mom's work. I see. Mom, well, is she? Yeah, she knows already. When I said that I wanted to go to the same high school as you, she looked it up for me. In that case, that's good. Even still, if that was a the situation, then why didn't you come to see me earlier? We, ha we haven't moved houses or anything. Well, that's because... Because what? I wanted to surprise you, Rintaro. Well, you definitely did surprise me, but... Even still, I definitely didn't imagine that you wouldn't know who I was. Even though I knew that you were my brother the moment that I saw you. Sorry. That really hurt me. Like I said, that was because... Yeah, I was shocked. Shocked by what? Because, you know, you had become so pretty. R really? Of course. Yay! Hey, now if you move that much, it's going to be bad for you. Because you have a weak body, after all. Listen, Rintaro, I'm a lot stronger now. Is that so? Yes, I can even play sports. Really? I didn't know that. Also, I can also get married soon, too. I see. You are high school already. You've gotten so big. So, here. I've already filled out the necessary parts, so all that's left to do is for you to sign. Here you go. All right, leave it to me. Okay. This is where I put my name? Yes, that's right. Wait, what is this? It's a marriage certificate. What? You're getting married? Yeah, why? To who? What are you saying? Who else could it be other than you, Rintaro? That's true. <laughs> that's right. Wait, obviously that's not going to happen. What's the matter all of a sudden? No, look, Shizuka. Marriage isn't something that a brother and sister can do to each other. <laughs> of course I know that. So you did know. <laughs> of course I do. If you know, then that makes this even worse. I never could have imagined that you play pranks like this, Shizuka. This isn't a prank because we made a promise that when we became adults, we would be together forever. Well, yeah, we did, but... Wait a minute. Does that mean... What? Wait a minute, Rintaro. Do you not know that you and I are not related by blood? What did you say? Well, you and I are siblings, but we aren't biologically related. So we're what they call step-siblings. I found out when I entered middle school from my mom. Apparently, I'm actually the child of my mom's best friend.
But my real parents that gave birth to me passed away in an accident, leaving only me behind. And so my mom now took me in and raised me. Is that true? I would never tell a joke about something like this. That's true. My bad. I think my mom always wanted to stay with you too, Rintaro. But because my mom had no choice but to take me, that's why she had to part ways with you. That's not true. What do you mean? I know that mom loved me and you the same way, so I don't think it's that she had no choice. The fact that I never doubted that you were my little sister should be proof of that. That's true. I I'm sorry. Anyway, now that we've resolved your uneasiness, please fill in the rest. No, wait. Uh, that's a different story. You promised, didn't you? Like I said. You promised, right? Anyway, I can't think about marriage all of a sudden out of nowhere. Okay, I understand. So you understand? What you're saying is that we need to date first, right? I guess I have no choice. That would be fine. You're not understanding at all. Wait, Rintaro! I decided to just run away. What else was I supposed to do? That being said, even if I ran away, it doesn't solve any of the problems whatsoever. When I go to school the next day, Shizuka was going to be there anyway. For example, we're going to eat lunch together too. How is it? Does it taste good? Yeah, it's delicious. Looks like you're really good at cooking, Shizuka. I practiced a lot so that I could become a good wife. Did this make you want to get married? No. No, it's not that fast. Come on, you're so mean, Rentaro. For example, we would run into each other in the hallway at school. Rentaro, where are you going? The student council room. I see. I'll come with you. Did you have something there too? Yes. What is it? Did you forget your homework or something? It's not like that. Well, then, what do you need from there? You. Me? Yes, I just want to be with you. For example, we would walk home together. Where are you and Mom living now? Pretty close to where you guys are still living. I see. That's right, that's right. Mom says that she really wants to see you too. If you'd like, come over to see us. Yeah. Because I think it would be hard for Mom to come over there to see you. It might be good if you ask for her permission to marry her daughter at the same time. If I say that out of nowhere, that's only going to trouble Mom too. But why? Well, I'm her actual son, so without any context, I'm sure that would shock her. It's not that there's no context. Huh? Because I've always been telling her that I was going to get married to you, and Mom already said that she would be fine with that. Are you serious? By the way, I've already spoken to Dad about it as well. No way. Because if you and I get married, we're going to have to become a family again. And I would want Dad to celebrate us after all. Anyway, that means that there's nothing that's going to get in between the two of us. All that's left is how you feel, Rintaro. But still. Mm, is there something that you're not satisfied with me? There's nothing like that. You're a really good girl, Shizuka, and you're cute. Oh, please. So you want to get married straight away. Uh, I would be okay with that. Where would you like to have the wedding? Looks like your ears have gotten really bad and you're only hearing what you want to hear. <laughs> Listen, Shizuka. To me, in my mind, you're still my little sister. That's a small girl. And then to suddenly talk about marriage, my feelings can't keep up with that. Well, then hurry up and fall in love with me, please. I wonder if that day is ever going to come. As of right now, I can't even picture it. Hey, Rintaro, do you have a minute? What's the matter? This was the captain of the girls' basketball team, who I normally had nothing to do with. Yeah, this is about Mizuda. What do you mean, who? It's the cute girl that keeps calling you her brother all around school. Oh, I see. Mizuda is Shizuka. That was my mother's maiden name. Well, I guess it's not technically a maiden name now, but... There is actually something that I wanted you to ask her. Who, Shizuka? Yeah, I want to ask her to play in the upcoming practice match, but she keeps refusing and says no. 
And then I thought that maybe if you were to ask her, she might say yes. Wait, why would you want Shizuka that much? Oh, do you guys not actually get along? Looks like you don't know anything about Mitsuda. Excuse me? Are you trying to start a fight with me? That's not my intention, but didn't you know that in the world of girls basketball, she's actually a pretty famous player? And yet when she came to high school, she says that she doesn't want to play basketball anymore. So please, will you help us out? My classmate bowed her head down to me. I was so shocked. My jaw was on the floor. So that happened today, but... I'm sorry, I don't want to cause you any trouble because of me. No, it's not like there was any trouble. But is it true? That you're a famous basketball player? Well, I don't know about being famous or not, but I was playing basketball. And, you know, I was pretty good at it. Why did you quit? Because I was only doing it to make myself stronger. And now that I'm healthy, I guess there's no need for it anymore. Plus, I have a lot more important things to do right now, so I don't have time for it anymore. What do you have to do? Of course, to train to be the best wife. Oh, really? What is it? That cold response? Nothing. It's just that it's not matching up with the image that I have of you in my mind. What image is that? I told you before, in my mind, you're still my tiny little sister with the weak body, Shizuka. So I guess I can't imagine a little girl playing basketball like that. Do you want to see it? What? Do you want to see me playing basketball? Well, I guess I am interested. I see. Well then, let me show you. So Shizuka agreed to fill in for the match. And so that weekend, it was Shizuka running all across the basketball court with nothing stopping her. She would get around, not one, not two, but all of her opponents as she dribbled the ball. Even from far away, her shot was sinking into the net. There, I didn't even see a shadow of the weak little girl that I once knew. If anything, she only looked like an attractive girl my age. My brother was watching me. That was all I needed to make me move even better than usual. Yeah, my brother is watching me. The last shot that flew out of Shizuka's hand was sucked in by the net, right as the final buzzer echoed throughout the stadium. Shizuka had the biggest smile on her face as the sweat glistened down her cheeks. Did you see me, Rintaro? She looked over my direction and put up a peace sign. And for the first time, I felt my heart skip a beat. It was beating so loud, as if I was in love or something. On the way home. Did you see it? Yeah, you were amazing. Do you see me differently now? With this, are you able to look at me as a girl your age, even just a little? I guess so. You're not little anymore, and you're not weak anymore either. <laughs> That's right. I can give birth to your healthy baby anytime. You're moving way too fast. That being said, great job today. Really. Um, Rintaro? Hmm? What is it? I played in the match today because I listened to your request. Well, that's true. Also, I won the game, too. It was thanks to your play, I know that. What are you trying to say? I want a reward. Sure. Really? Yeah, I'll buy you ice cream on the way home. Oh, you're still treating me like a little kid. Well then, what am I supposed to do? It's very easy. All you have to do is just write your name right here. I won't sign that. Why not? But also, are you seriously walking around holding the marriage certificate? Of course I am, because I never know when you're going to change your mind about it. I won't sign the marriage certificate, but... Come on, please sign it. I don't wanna. I'm not fully ready yet, but let's see. How about a date? A date? Don't you know? It's a word used when two people, not a brother and sister, but a guy and a girl, go out together. I know. I... I'll go. I would like to go. On a date. Uh, all right. Yes. I'm happy. Well then, let's go. Uh, um, Rintaro. 
What's the matter? During the date, um, you're not going to be my brother anymore, okay? Of course not, because it's a date. Y yes, and then once the date is over, then we can finally get married. After that, we held hands and we walked home, talking about our plans for the date. After the date, whether I signed my name on the marriage certificate or not, that's a story for another time. Understand, Takaya? This document why heal. For that, could you please take your hand off my shoulder? Huh? I don't like your tone. I'm simply instructing you on proper procedure. Takaya's getting harassed by the manager again. Because she's cute, exactly his type. Someone go help her! Not me. There was a guy who complained about him and got sent to the branch office, remember? Currying favor with the higher-ups is the one thing he's good at, after all. Well, well, well. The rot in this company has well and truly taken hold, I see. That's because everyone only looks out for themselves and won't speak up. We're not in school anymore. It's not like we can call a class meeting and tell everyone, harassment is bad, let's all be nice to each other. I'm no better. I've been turning a blind eye just like the rest of them. Well, just gotta get through the day, right? But I can't stand it anymore. Uh, wait, Shigeharu! Excuse me, boss. I'm done with the documents, and I was wondering if you could take a look. I'll look at them later. Leave them on my desk. I would prefer you look at them now. They're for an urgent case. Can't you see I'm busy coaching Takaya White right now? I can coach her for you. I'm pretty familiar with her client, too. Are you doing this on purpose? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. I'm asking if you're trying to be some kind of hero by helping Takaya get away from me. So do you know that what you're doing is highly inappropriate? If I'm a hero, that makes you a villain, doesn't it? How dare you! I'll leave these documents with you then. I'll remember this, Yoshiyuki. I think you should put your effort into remembering what not to do to your employees. After all, you don't want to make the same mistakes over and over. That would only cause you to be disliked by everyone. He was glaring at me intensely, but I pretended not to notice. When he finally noticed all the attention we were getting from the people in the room, he walked back to his seat in silence. Thank you, Yoshiyuki. No, I should apologize. It took me too long to make up my mind to help. But I'm happy you finally did, really. Takaya smiled. But seeing that sight came at quite a heavy price. After that, the manager took every opportunity to target me. Yoshiyuki, we do these. May I ask what's wrong with them? Think about it yourself. You're an adult, aren't you? But this is already the fifth time. You have only your lack of ability to blame. If you can't even complete your own work properly, you shouldn't poke your nose into other people's business. Well, well, well. The harassment's going strong today, I see. I don't even know how to rewrite these anymore. If he doesn't pass these, the progress of the entire project would be stalled. So what are you going to do? What do you mean? If you have nothing up your sleeve, this is how your life here will be from now on. No, it might actually get worse. It was exactly as he said. The manager's mistreatment of me got worse over time. Things like calling me on my off days and rebuking me in front of everyone in the office were common occurrences. The biggest problem was the trouble caused to my clients and colleagues by him refusing to approve the documents I made. This is no longer something I can solve by just working harder. After it sunk in that it wouldn't help anything even if I put extra effort into my work, I made the decision to quit. On the day I sent him my resignation letter without telling anyone, 
Yoshiyuki, is it true that you're quitting? I'm busted. Where did you hear the news? So it's true. It's all my fault. No, it's not. Huh? The manager is the only one in the wrong here. You, as a victim, shouldn't be taking the blame for this. What are you going to do after leaving? I wonder. I haven't looked in where I'm going to be working next. Well, I'll take my time to think about it. Time is the one thing I'll have lots of after all. If you'd like, would you like to grab dinner together today? What, like a farewell party? Sounds great. Let's have a farewell party, just the two of us. After work? Huh? You quit too? Yes, I sent in my resignation letter after our conversation today. But why? Because I couldn't put up with it any longer. You told me it wasn't my fault, but you have to remember that you did nothing wrong either. If anything, this was just the last straw for me. I see. So, to be a better tomorrow for the both of us, cheers! Cheers! It was scary when I made the decision, but now I just feel relieved. I totally get you. Lately, I've been feeling sick to my stomach just seeing the manager's face. I know, right? When I think about the fact that I won't have to look at that face anymore, everything feels worth it. I feel sorry for the people staying on there. They have to continue dealing with that sorry excuse of a boss. <laughs> That's mean. Hey, I'm just stating facts. Thought you are. By the way, aren't you living in the company dormitories right now? Hmm? Oh, right! I need to search for a new place, too. I'll be living off my savings while looking for a new job, so I hope I can find a cheap one. Hmm? Oh, that's right. I know a good place. Really? You'd get a living room and one bedroom. There's a separate toilet and bathroom, and it's only a 10-minute walk from the station. It's relatively new, and the rent's about half the standard market rate. Amazing, huh? Does an apartment that good really exist? Of course. In that case, I'll take it. The thing is, there's a reason why it's so cheap. And what's that? It's because you'll be living with me. Uh, what did you say? Would you like to be my roommate? In short, it's like this. We'll both be jobless for a while and using our savings to survive. On top of that, it's not confirmed where I'll be working next. There's a possibility that I might have to move again due to my new workplace being too far. If that happened, I'd have to go through the entire troublesome process again. In such a case, it'd make everything a lot easier for me to move into the apartment that Takaya is currently renting. Also, splitting the rent between us would help Takaya out as well. It would definitely benefit the both of us. I was originally living with one of my female friends, so you can take the room where she used to stay. And where is she now? Oh, she has a boyfriend now and moved to be with him. I had actually planned to move to a smaller place. But we got a pretty generous housing allowance from the company and I was too worn out from the harassments at work to think about moving. That's why I let it drag on until now. So if you're okay with it, I thought this would be a win-win. I see, I agree. But I'm a guy, you know. I know, but what does that matter now? Are you sure? I mean, it's not like I would extend this offer to just anyone. But I trust you, Yoshiyuki. Then I think I'll take you up on your offer. Just until I find a new job. Sure, it's a deal. And just like that, we started living together. Unexpectedly, once we got over the initial discomfort, we had a lot of fun together. Wow, Shigeharu, do you have to be so serious about this? Attack! Attack! Keep on attacking! And you're not listening. But I guess simpletons like you are easier to deal with. 
Ah! A counterattack! All right, I win. So, you'll be the one putting out the trash tomorrow. Damn it! And this makes my fifth win in a row so far. Why are you so good at this? A true gamer is good at everything. Hmm? It's this late already? It's about time to eat dinner. I'll cook today. Are you sure? Yep. I'll let you do it then. In exchange, you'll be washing the bathtub today. I knew something was coming. <laughs> well, okay, I'll do it. I want to finish up our eggs, so how about Oyakodon? Sounds good. I love it. What? Why are you suddenly talking about love? You do know I was talking about the Oyakodon, right? Of course I do. Can't you just let me live my fantasy for a while? You're killing my vibe, Shigeharu. Sorry, but I'm surprised at how cheesy your fantasies are. You should consider yourself privileged to see this side of me, you know? While job hunting, we played games at home and split the housework between us. We also ate our meals together. It was my first time living together with someone, but I liked it a lot more than I thought it would. I'll be heading out now. For an interview? That's right. Okay, what are you going to do for dinner? I'm meeting Kajitani for dinner today, so don't cook for me. Got it. Tell him hello for me. I left the apartment, sent off by Aina's bright smile. Somehow, this felt kind of weird. I wondered if this was anything similar to how newlyweds would interact. So how's the job hunting going? Well, it's coming along. Not going well, huh? On the contrary, I think the company where I interviewed today will probably hire me. Is that so? Good for you, but you and Takaya really jumped the gun. What are you talking about? You weren't there to witness the manager's fall from grace. Seriously? Remember how he would treat our clients with the same careless attitude as he did us? Yeah? He sexually harassed a seemingly unassuming girl from our client's company. That old man really likes his young girls, huh? And then it turned out that the girl in question was the daughter of the CEO himself. <laughs> what an idiot. There was no way the higher-ups could continue covering for him after that, so he was demoted and sent to one of our branch offices. If you two had hung in there just a little bit longer, then you wouldn't have had to go through all this job hunting trouble. Though, I know there's no point saying it now. You could be right. But without some sort of change at the core of the company, the future managers could end up being the same for all you know. Sooner or later, I'd probably have to quit anyway. <laughs> you have a point. A serious guy like you who can't let stuff go isn't made for this company. If you would have closed one eye like I did, but I guess that's one of your good points. And my life now isn't bad at all, you know. Really? In that case? I wish you luck. Thanks for worrying about me. That reminds me. Where are you staying now? Huh? Something's going on. No, it's nothing. I smell a secret. I don't know what you mean. You're hiding something, aren't you? I don't know what you're thinking, but... Is it a woman? Huh? Why would you think that? You suck at keeping secrets, so there's no use trying to dodge the question. It'll be easier on you if you spill the tea now. Your shirt is properly ironed today, too. It always used to be all wrinkly. Uh, this is just for my interview today. Hmm? Really? Is that so? Oh, right! I almost forgot! Hello! Ina told me this morning to tell you hello from her. Ina? Why are you calling Takaya by her first name? Oh, no. 
Oh, I see. So it's like that, huh? No, wait, it's not like that. All that bull about not being able to stand the manager anymore? I see that it wasn't righteousness you were afflicted by. It was jealousy. You got it all wrong. Ina and I aren't... So what are you exactly? That's... <sighs> Unable to withstand Kajitani's thorough investigation, I ended up telling him everything in a panic. The next morning... Uh, my head... You were super drunk when you got home last night. Do you feel like eating anything? Sorry, I can't even think about eating right now. How about miso soup? Oh, I'll have some. Okay, I'll prepare it right away, so just wait a little. <sighs> so good. I'm glad to hear it. I want to drink it every morning. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Forget it. S so, how was Kijitani? Uh, yeah, he's doing well. More importantly, he had big news. What happened? Apparently, the manager fell out of favor after we quit. Huh? Uh huh? How? So I heard he sexually harassed a girl from a client's company. Go on. And then he was sent to a branch office. I see. People are saying that he's being left out of practically all promotion opportunities. What goes around comes around, huh? As it turns out, we should have just stayed at the company a little longer, was what he told me. So, do you regret quitting? Not at all. They were surprised when I heard the news, but no regret. I feel the same. If I hadn't quit the company, I would probably never have had the chance to eat breakfast with you like this, Shigaharu. True. You said you felt confident about your interview yesterday. Yeah. And it's about 20 minutes away by train? That's right. How sure are you that you'll get in? I'm positive I'll get an offer from them pretty soon. The thing is, I think I found a job too. That's great! Thanks! Looks like our vacation's coming to an end then. We originally agreed to be roommates only until I managed to find a job. Unlike when we were students, as working adults, we don't usually have long vacations that span one or two months. But the days I spent with Ina felt like the longest break I've taken in years. Playing games late into the night, and deciding together not to get up in the morning? I've really enjoyed my time here. But that's only because Ina was with me. Oh, I see now. I may have fallen in love with her somewhere along the way. What I'm trying to say is, I like how we do things now. Having to pay only half the rent and relaxing more because we're splitting the housework. That's all good too, but they aren't the main reasons why I want you to stay. But if you don't mind, would you like to? I don't think I can continue what we've been doing. Of course, I understand. Sorry. Don't be. It was something we both agreed on in the beginning after all. I was just being selfish. That's not it. I'm in love with you. Huh? I think I've fallen in love with you, Ina. So it'd be hard for me to keep doing the same things we've been doing. By that, you mean... I'm sure you don't want to live under the same roof as a guy who's crushing on you. Now that I've realized my own feelings, I wouldn't be satisfied with just doing what we did either. So, uh, uh, but... If you're willing to continue living together after everything I just told you, I... I'm willing. That was fast. You should think about it a little more. I mean, I feel the same way about you. What? Let's be together. From now on until forever. Really? 
But I'd like you to redo your confession. Huh? Why? Only the worst type of guy confesses to a girl while hungover and still thinking about alcohol. Say it again when you're better put together. You mean I have to say all that embarrassing stuff again? Yes, you do. Also, could you make it a bit more affectionate, please? Huh? You're not getting out of it by giving me that face. Ina smiled sweetly at me. It's been almost half a year since then. Both Ina and I are working hard at our new jobs. When we became a couple, it didn't seem right to call each other roommates anymore. Though, I know it's just a label. And honestly, what we do hasn't changed much. Welcome back. Thanks. Dinner will be ready soon. Thank you. I'll clean the bathtub then? Oh, I've already done that. You go ahead and take a bath first. Are you Wonder Woman or something? <laughs> I like that. Praise me more. By the way, today's dinner is your favorite Mapo Tofu. Yes, I can't wait. I know, you always suck your plate clean when I make it. But it's not my favorite. Huh? I love Mapo Tofu, but I love you more, Aina. Where did that come from? Do you have a fever, or did you drink before you came home? I didn't. And you were the one who said to give you a more affectionate confession when I'm not drunk. So you've been looking for an opportunity this whole time? Uh... You took me, it took you half a year to find one? I never realized how shy you were till now. Stop teasing me. I love you too, Shigeharu. I know. <laughs> this is kind of turning me on. Huh? Right, let's put a pause on dinner. We're taking a bath together. Wait, 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 so suddenly? It's your fault for having such a cute face and saying such cute things. It's like you are telling me to attack you. This is sexual harassment, you know. <laughs> Don't try to distract me by laughing. Too bad. There's no good looking colleague here to save you. You better be ready. Saying that, Ina pulled me towards the bathroom. <laughs>